Hello friends and welcome to yet another episode of Boss Talk. And today with us we have Archana, beautiful Archana, wonderful Archana and a fighter Archana. Welcome Archana to Boss Talk. Namaste. Thank you so much Dr. Monica for bringing me on this platform. I have seen a couple of your earlier you know, features and I think you're doing an amazing job. Uh, by inspiring others to come back, to come back and take it as a pride. Yes. Thank you so much, Archana. Archana, uh, I must say, is a TEDx speaker. She is an author. She is a certified life coach. She is a child psychologist. She is also an NLP and mindfulness coach. She is art therapist. She is a soft skill trainer, a posh trainer, and also she is a Mrs. India. So welcome once again, Archana. I will request you to please introduce yourself on your multifaceted personalities. Um, okay, I don't think you have left anything for me to introduce because these are keywords. And I think if I have to just simplify it in a simple word, um, I will say um, Archana is someone uh, who resonates with the word Zoya. That is my pen name. Because for me, Archana means worship and you only worship when you're alive. And Zoya means life. So I think Archana is life. Super, it's like super. living today. Every day as this is the first and the last day of your life. So give your fullest and that's Archana. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. So now Archana, since you have already given that you are life and you are actually giving life to this talk today. So please share your professional journey today with us. If I have to really share my professional journey, I have to go almost two decades ago, how my life was. Um, I've, I have studied in India. I have also studied abroad. Uh, I, was, I started my journey with World Food Program, Rome, Italy. Uh, and from there, I came to India. I joined Deloitte Services uh, in Hyderabad. I was at the peak of my career, was doing exceptionally good. Uh, and you know, when you're doing exceptionally good, you know that you are going in the right direction but god yes. always has a different plan for us so when i was at the peak of my career i was a top rated employee of deloitte i was supposed to move to us for a project when i had my accident and that one mm. accident changed my complete life uh, though before my accident i had some medical issues but my but my professional journey was still smooth after even after those surgeries but that accident brought me to a situation where medically I was told that I cannot work anymore. And a person who has been working 16 hours since the age of, I think, 17, I started working from 17 to 28 years of my age. Almost, you can say, closer to nine years. I have been always working 16 hours. One day, there's a few reports say that you have to, you know, you cannot sit in L position because you have some spinal issue, you cannot go back to work. And it actually began, like started the pause of my professional journey. Before that journey was good. I have worked with different, different, like different nationalities of people in different countries. I have been exposed to different projects. So I was thinking I have a very bright future. I never knew that there is going to be a big question mark, not even a pause for me. Because when I asked my doctors, can I go back to work? I was told, they, I was told we don't know. And when they say we don't know, it puts me in a question mark, not even an exclamation mark or a pause. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Wonderful. This is the way you have brought about your journey from that. That is what we want to know about it. So since you've already revealed the pause now, which was the greatest pause that you had in your life. And I was amazed when we had, uh, I must tell this to the audience when I was having an intro call with Archana and uh, we were talking about her pause. And when she told about this, I was so absolutely, my like my mouth just remained open when she told me about all of this, which, which has happened with her and how she has again reinvented herself, uh, reconciled with everything and brought about her inner potential to really uh, be the woman that she is today. So please tell us about the pause a little more in detail. Okay, so when I was 19 years old, I have gone through my first spinal surgery. 
and after that i was absolutely fine when i turned 22 i was diagnosed with one of the rarest kind of uh, disorders uh, which generally happens in that age group only which is known as chondromalacia patella so it has affected my both the legs my both the knees but still i continued to work because my job was mainly sitting but when my accident happened in the age at the age of 29 i just couldn't go back to work i still dragged myself two years in, in the same in the same profession the company supported me my employees my managers everyone supported me but my body was not supporting me and then doctor says if you continue to work the compression of nerves will go extreme and then you might be bedridden for a longer time or we might need to operate you uh, spinal surgeries at that time you know closer to more than a decade ago were not suggested because they are they are not very successful right now we have new technologies we have laser treatments also but still nobody wants to touch that spine at that age Absolutely. i took a break from my job i thought okay i'm going to sit at home and i'm i'm going to see how life is but a person who has been always working always has been financially and economically emotionally independent it was very hard for me more than the physical it started impacting my mind and i have seen a journey where i have been lying in bed looking at a fan for months not being able to move not and my social my socialization my social everything my social circle it started you know shrinking nobody wants to be with someone who is sick all the time if all then you complain i have pain i cannot walk i cannot sit gradually you start losing your people and from losing job to losing so you know social circle i went into a stage of isolation and that stage of isolation started hitting my mind i never knew there are things like that i now teach people as a psychologist that there are things like called journaling blogging you know vent it out and i started keeping things inside until and unless i fell into a pit of depression Mm-hmm. i am very proud to say i have seen a journey of depression i have been on antidepressants i have fought that journey also because today when people come to me i tell them there are better ways to manage it right and uh, that was a that was a phase and it lasted for a very long time and the worst thing was even in that phase god has been kind and unkind where he gave me strength he also gave me you know more surgeries to go through i think uh, in in my past phase i have closely gone through 10 surgeries so in total i have gone through 13 surgeries on my body and uh, sometimes i i also wonder how i came out of it so maybe god has been unkind but thing has also been kind then um, when i was struggling with it i started blogging and someone somewhere in us read my blog she approached me she, she she said why don't you work for my website i started working from home for amount which was not even 100th of what i used to get in my job but i started as it made me feel better mentally not maybe financially and physically 10 years i kept writing then i then i came on the board with some newspapers also i have written books i have written articles and my everything that you go back and read it talks about only self help or it talks about japanese poetry where we look at season and we connect it to our life so in that pause i was writing but until and, and even i also started my event company after mrs india happened um i started getting back on my on my physical health i started making myself more physically fit and mentally stable until unless covid happened so when covid happened my events company you know it went through losses and then again i saw a phase where i saw my friends losing their spouses and that mm. was a hit to me that what if tomorrow i don't have anyone to take care of me financially emotionally mentally of course my partner my spouse has been a great support i won't deny it without without your spouse you cannot so much let me accept it but then when i started i have to be independent in all the ways and i started a foundation during covid which is known as aspire foundation catering to women who were going and children who were going through abuse during covid and were losing their partners and parents when i started the foundation i realized i need funds i need more money it's my baby from where will i get the money you know and uh, and people will not fund because the world is going through a pandemic right they do they're losing their jobs your people yes, that yes. pushed me to work that pushed me to work and break that and answer that question mark and break that barrier that no i 
have to be out of home now. I have to go. I have to go back work. I cannot take a, such a long break. I've taken a break of 15 years working from home. And while working 15 years, I have seen what people have seen during lockdown. I've seen those phases because some days, you know, you cannot get up. Some days you cannot work. Some days you don't have money also. You don't want to go and ask your parents or your spouse. They will give you. But you don't feel good at that age asking money from someone. And that was my question. Why is this pause here, right? Get up. Yeah. You have qualification. You need to go and see what market needs now. Because you're out of market for 15 years. You have been cooking Rajma Chawal, but they don't <laughs> need Rajma Chawal in corporates or in school. They need something which the market needs. And what is my skill to suffice it? Yes, yes. Amazing, amazing journey, Ajna, amazing journey. I must say that what I'm taking from here is that you started to write your life. You were not writing blogs, but you were writing your life. That is what I can say that you were writing your life afresh. And that is how you reached this stage when you created a space for yourself where you could now be a person who will empower another human being outside of you. You took 15 years to build yourself and you built, I must say, you built better. So congratulations on that victory. Amazing journey, amazing journey. So I must come back and ask you now that post the pause. Now you have a foundation. Now that you have uh, your own uh, work also, I'm seeing uh, you have joined a school now lately. So what is it that you are now motivated to do and how are you taking your life forward post the pause? So when I started my foundation, there were there were two main things in my mind. One was to work upon the mental health because in India, mental health is mainly neglected. Because I have suffered of so many things in my life, 15 years, I know men, if your mental health is strong, you're mentally strong, you can handle the emotional hiccups also, right? But if you're emotionally strong and mentally weak, you will, you will go through more more trouble and a longer duration of pain. So in this chapter of mental health, uh, you know, we used to get a lot of requests from people that we are looking for NLP practitioners or life coaches, you know. And these terms are very new to me because I was a writer, right? Writing is one thing. We always write. But handling mind was not my bracket at all. And I come from a literature background. I am a master's in English literature. I had no idea what psychology is all about. So it used to interest me. So when I used to go to NLP practitioners that please come and support these cases which have come up, they used to ask for a huge amount of fee, which they deserve. But as a foundation, uh, that was completely on my shoulders. I was really going through a very rough patch uh, to, you know, fund them. And at the same time, I don't want anyone to work for free because that will be, you know, again, not justified on my part. As a women, absolutely, yes. So I thought, uh, Arshana, let's do one thing. You know, start upskilling yourself. Why? Why people are asking for NLP? Let me go and do a course. I did my very first course in last September only, neuro linguistics programming. Then I did my diploma from abroad in neuroplasticity through online. Then after that, I realized mind is very interesting, huh? It took me to mindfulness. I did my, yes. again, certification in mindfulness. Then when I was doing this, you know, I realized that most of the time only parents are coming to me or mm -hmm. they are sending me teens. So I realized mm -hmm. that there is something going wrong. There's some imbalance between parenting and children. Yeah. And while I'm studying mind, somehow, you know, children always attract me. Mm -hmm. And fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know, a lot of inclusive cases started coming to me. ASD, cerebral palsy, learning dis disabilities these were very new terms for me because nlp yes. is one thing i said no i think i should now join everything let me take nlp mindfulness and inclusive education together let me understand why children and parents are going through so much of imbalance i yes. started my diploma in child psychology from icpm which is a government body i just completed it then with that when i was doing that I was I started handling cases uh, of ASD children, autistic spectrum disorder. And yeah. from there, I moved to children who have learning disabilities. I didn't just cerebral palsy because I was not trained to handle those cases. But ASD and LD came naturally to me because of child yeah. psychology. 
So I thought, okay, no, you know, now I can see how the branches are growing. I have to do now my master's in child psychology. So after finishing my diploma, I enrolled myself for master's in child psychology. And in that, I selected the field inclusive education. Though I got selected in an institute for inclusive education also. But then I said, no, if I do a bigger umbrella as master's, I can help in a better way. All yes. this was only to support children, you know, in in low strata of society. Because okay, people in our in our strata know what it is. But there are a lot of children. Yes. That uh, what exactly is happening with them? So I, for my foundation's mental health chapter, I joined. You know, a lot of different other NGOs to support them. And then, you know, my school saw they had a position and they said, why don't you join us as an inclusive educator? So from there, though I do freelancing also, I have a couple of uh, autistic children, which I'm doing as freelancing, like freelance educator. But I joined a school to get more experience because this was school. Now I need university and that I will only become in a school. So that's the way you know, everything channelized. And then there were a lot of requests for parents that we are looking for someone who can teach yoga to children who have inclusive issues. So then I started my teacher's training in yoga, so which I'm still oh my doing. God. <laughs> and just to finish that, so, so uh, I'm I'm sailing. I say I don't believe that if you sail in two boats, you will sink. No, one of the boats will sink. It all depends how you balance the boats. So though <laughs> for last one year I'm sailing in multiple boats, but I have not let any one of them drown. Yes, uh, <laughs> I can so. see that. I can see that. Amazing. This is an amazing journey. I must say, Archana, that uh, the post 13 surgeries and that too of spine here. Uh, this is a woman who is doing yoga, who is managing children with different uh, disabilities. And she is all out to help the little children to be leading a normal life. And this is so superly amazing, Archana. And today I must tell whoever is listening here that in spite of all the disturbances because of uh, lack of network and showing uh, different kind of images from Archana's side, but still we are working here because that is what I have learned from Archana that we, the life moves on. The show must go on. And today we have met here in spite of all the difficulties. We are doing this uh, conversation here. And I'm I'm sure if you are listening to this conversation when it goes on here, and if you find some uh, images which are not clear, but the voice is so loud and clear that the message will come across to you. And that is what you have to get into, the voice. We are here on Post Talk to give voice to all the women who are gone and undergoing and probably are not able to come out of this kind of a pause, which, or, which may be a health uh, challenge or a relationship challenge or any which way, probably your mindset challenge. But if you are listening today to Achna, you know that there is no barrier which cannot be overcome. She has come out of her health issues. She has challenged her mind. She has challenged her education. She is upskilling herself in every aspect. I must say a big, big applause to you, Archana. This is for you. I would like to tell you to share a one message now. Your life itself is a message. So, But still, I would like you to give uh, the audience a small message, a takeaway, a big one thing. I always tell myself, so I'm going to tell you the same thing. When you are, uh, when you are, when you are born once, why do you think twice? It's yes. one life. Use it well. Stop Amazing. making excuses that I couldn't do it because of my husband or my children or time or money. I have seen all these phases. If you want to do it, you can do it. Just do it. That's it. Wow! Superb. Just do it. You don't have to wait for the right moment, the right time, the right you. You are the right person. This is the moment. This is the right place. So just go on and uh, fulfill your dream, your passion, your commitment, your contribution. The world is waiting for you. Thank you so much, Achna. It was really wonderful to have you. I really got so pumped up and so inspired that the life is going to be a different from here for me also now. Thank you so much. Namaste.
Thank you so much, Anika. You're doing a great job, and I wish you all the best. Keep doing it. You're inspiring a lot of people. Thank you so much, dear.